Hello everyone and welcome to this live TT Scoreboard tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to stream your table tennis match with this nice fancy scoreboard here over your, your video, uh, all on your cell phone. And so we're going to be using two different apps. We're going to be using uh, live TT Scoreboard and we're going to be using an app called Streamlabs. So uh, today we're going to focus on going to Facebook uh, so if you want to use Facebook Live and stream it uh, to your Facebook page, um, the app Streamlabs doesn't actually support that. So we're going to go through kind of a workaround that you can do in order to stream table tennis onto Facebook Live, uh, all just using your cell phone. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you all the steps needed. So the first thing you will do is go on your web browser, and we'll go to Facebook.com. Um, like I said, you could also do this on your mobile phone. Um, basically, the workaround for this is you log in on your mobile phone at facebook.com. It'll redirect you to M, which stands for mobile facebook.com. After you log in, you just basically reload at facebook.com, but you have to make sure you go into your Chrome browser settings on your phone and you ask for the desktop. Desktop. Uh, website is is key because Facebook doesn't actually allow you to create a streamer key off of your phone so that's one way to kind of get around it so from here we will go ahead and, and go into we'll hit live video so once you're on this page you have the most important thing is this server URL that you have. So we will copy this and we will copy the stream key as well. And this is the combination that we're going to need to use in Streamlabs. So keep these handy. Um, if you are doing this all from your mobile phone and you are trying to get into this page on your mobile phone, you cannot do a go live now. You will have to do a schedule live video, which is the exact same thing. So you can copy the server right here. And then go to schedule a live uh, video, get the stream key here, and you can hit go live. And now you can go into the Streamlabs app and start streaming. And Facebook will automatically start the video at your designated time. All right, so once you have this stream key, go ahead and copy and paste that. Maybe send it to yourself in an email so you can access it easily on your mobile phone. And now let's actually hop on over to the live TT scoreboard portion where where we are going to set up the uh, live stream scoreboard to go on top of your video. All right, so let's hop on over to live TT scoreboard and take a look at that. All right, so I went to go grab my phone. So I already have live TT scoreboard installed. If you don't, go ahead and just go to the Android or uh, iOS store and you can just search live TT scoreboard and it should pop up. So let's go ahead and, and open it up. So the next step in this is basically to get the table that we will be streaming. So if you know if there's multiple tables, you can do this multiple times on different cell phones. If there's just one table, um, you know, we'll do that. So but basically let's let's open the app here. All right. So uh, this is the default page. Uh, we have this my tournament button at the top that we can click or we can also open up the menu screen and go to my tournaments here. So these are uh, some tur uh, some tournaments or events. Uh, they could be league matches or tournaments, uh, depending on you know the type. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It does affect the the look of the board, the scoreboard. But um, just for this example, you know, it should be fine. So let's go ahead and we will choose la so la ping pong big guys versus small dudes one of these test uh, tournaments i made and so you can see right here uh, down below on the bottom of the first table it says click here to copy live stream scoreboard url so we're going to go ahead and click on that it says the link is copied all right so that's great Okay, so now we're going to go over to Streamlabs, which if you haven't downloaded this, it is also available on the iOS and Android store. You can basically go and, and download it there. So let's go over, let's open up Streamlabs, and it's going to be on the left side. So you're going to see an endless loop of me. 
and my computer here. And so you can see I already I actually already have myself here. So let me let me move myself over here. All right, so you can actually already see here on and this this is not added within my software here. This is actually added on my uh, Streamlabs application. And so when you first sign up, it's going to ask you, you know, would you like to sign up with Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Anything is fine. Uh, it's still going to have to authenticate everything um, no matter where you stream. For us, we actually don't really need to authenticate for Facebook because it only streams to Facebook gaming pages. So personal profiles are off limits and that's why we have this workaround. So let's go ahead and hit editor. And if you guys remember, let me go ahead and just delete this so we can start fresh. And this is on iOS. It's a little bit different on Android. I can make a video uh, for that later. And so in the top right hand corner, we have these three or four boxes. One of them's kind of lopsided. So we'll click on that. Uh, it's going to have a default Streamlabs photo. Um, if you want to remove that, they do have like a premium thing. Um, but you know, if you don't mind the watermark, you can just use it for free. So we'll have, uh, we'll hit the plus and we will add a widget. So by adding a widget, we can do custom URL. And this is when you will now paste what we just copied from the live TT scoreboard application. And you can hit add and we can swipe that away. And we can move this to what wherever you want. If you want it to be up here, you know, it doesn't really matter. We can just you know, maybe resize our scoreboard here, make it a little bit smaller. And then top left hand corner, there's a little checkbox. And there we go. And so it is populated. So now if you are streaming, you're going to be able to, you know, uh, just Imagine I, this is a ping pong table in front of you. You now have uh, a mobile scoreboard. The other thing is we need we do need to go back and that link that we copied here uh, from Facebook. So what we can do is we can go to settings and then streaming platform. So we click on this and out of this list, you're going to see that custom RTMP server. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to list the RTMPS uh, URL that we had earlier. And then there's, and then down below it, you can't see it here because it's actually blocked out. But like on my screen here, it actually shows a bunch of dots. And that's going to be the stream key uh, from before. So you can hit save on that. And then you can go down here. And actually, um, normally when the screen is not being recorded, there's a button around here that says go live. You'll just, ba or it's basically just a play button. You hit that and it will start streaming. And after that, you can go back to your Facebook uh, page. If you're doing go live, you can now hit go live. If, you're, if you scheduled your live video, and it sees that you're actively streaming to it, it'll just start going. So that's how you're able to stream to Facebook with your phone and still get that live TT scoreboard. So I hope you guys have fun with it. Uh, it's a pretty cool feature. Um, I guess the fact that you can actually do the, all of this with just your mobile phone now, and it basically replaces the entire uh, camera capture card computer uh, it replaces all of that and everything is just now done from your phone so this really makes it a, a lot easier um, to stream with an actual scoreboard now you're still gonna need another phone to keep score so if your buddy has one or if you have an, a separate uh, tablet or anything like that uh, live TT scoreboard can be on iPads iPhones Android tablets even really old Android tablets, so uh, you know, and almost any any mobile device that running Android or, or iOS is going to be able to, to run run it. So as long as you have Wi-Fi or something, 
um, you know, you'll you'll be good to go with it with another device. So that is it. Happy streaming, guys.